Now in this lecture we are going to see the computation of the gradually varied flow. There are various methods to find out the GVM. First is graphical integration method, second is direct step method and the third one is standard step method. So in case of graphical integration method, we have taken on x axis as the y and on y axis as f of y and then this method is used to compute the distance from the given depth and dy by dx is given as h0 minus sf divided by 1 minus fr square where this small x shown in the figure is the distance between x1 and x2 here this x is equal to x2 minus x1 that is integration of dx from x1 to x2 now just put dx as integration of say dx upon dy dy from integration from y1 to y2 further we can simplify this so integration from y1 y2 1 minus f r square divided by h0 minus s dy by simplifying we are going to get it integration of f of y dy from y1 to y2 take the different values of this y and calculate the corresponding function f of y and plot f of y versus y curve what are the area that will be enclosed between y1 and y2 will give the distance if the interval is very small the area can be calculated by multiplying the average values of f of y with the interval that is dy and called as the direct step method for prismatic channel so in this method the entire length of the given channel is distributed or divided into short lengths or reaches and the calculation or computation is carried out step by step to the reach to the other end as shown in figure let dx is the horizontal distance shown section 1 1 and 2 2 there datum is there so at section 1 1 what are that vertical distance that is h 0 dx then depth of flow y 1 then v 1 square upon 2g and at section 2 2 similar terms are there shown in figure now here by applying the energy equation or Bernoulli equation at two sections we are getting y1 plus v1 square upon 2g plus h0 del x is equal to y2 plus v2 square upon 2g plus sf dx from the above equation rearranging the terms we can find out del x that is the distance y1 minus y2 Square square by 2g minus 2 square upon 2g whole divided by sf minus h0 let us solve it for distance del x now for rectangular channel v1 equal to q upon y1 and v2 equal to q upon y2 where small q is the discharge per unit width and for prismatic channel we know that v1 equal to q upon a1 and then v2 equal to q upon a2 in case of direct step the limitations are the channel must be a prismatic that is its slope and cross sectional area should be constant of x so that the velocity is a function of depth of flow and not the distance x the method involves to identify the type of profile and to find out whether del y is a positive or negative just select this del y and thus you can find out y2 
calculate the hydraulic radius and velocity at y1 y2 calculate friction slope given y1 and y2 calculate average friction slope and calculate delta x for example in direct step methods the tabular format will be depth of flow y area which the velocity sf is the energy line slope e is the energy the dy plus v square upon 2g dx distance x top to t and proud's number bottom as well as surface by tabulating these values then we can find out the whole divide for the first value of y calculate a p r v e and s f take the another next value say y increasing or decreasing from the previous one and compute the calculus perform computation y to obtain the required flow profile assume the depth will be either more or less than the known depth at control sections depending on the surface profile that may be rising or falling the formulas used here are hydraulic radius r equal to a by p velocity v equal to q upon a specific energy e equal to v square upon 2g energy line slope s f equal to n square v square upon r raised to 4 by 3 then using equation for n or say s f equal to v square upon c square r and values of c we can use it s f r equal to so s f 1 plus s f 2 whole divided by 2 and del x is equal to del e divided by h 0 minus s f then x will be equal to the cumulative sum of this del x the standard step for natural channels given a depth at one section or location determine the depth at a second given location the step size del x must be small enough so that the changes in water depth are not very large otherwise the estimates of the friction slope and the velocity head are not correct it can be solved in upstream or downstream direction mostly it involves the upstream for a critical one and downstream for a supercritical one find a depth that satisfies by the energy plus h zero del x is equal to y two plus zero to square of that is energy equation so in this particular say part we have all those different say the methods that we can utilize this one so these methods are utilize according to the channel geometry